Oh no, what's going on with Doctor Who? Well, apparently, Doctor Who drops Jodie Whittaker from the cover of its 2022 annual Amid Rumors. She's leaving the show. So that's been uh, tossed around quite a bit. And uh, there's a lot to uh, 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 put credibility to that. Uh, is that uh, it'll be her third uh, uh, season or year or what have you. And uh, that's kind of the standard. Uh, not for all, uh, but uh, it stands to reason. So, okay, you did three. You can go now. Uh, there's been the rumor that his agent is begging her to get out of that show as fast as she can, which uh, I, if that's true, I humbly agree. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, all right, here's the article from uh, Daily Mail. So uh, there, so the, here it is that, you know, this will be the annual, and it's just, oh, it's a little, uh, you know, a little cartoon, if you will, of the TARDIS. And uh, kind of looks like something out of the 80s, you know? The little the, Anyway, there it is. That's that. So, um... So they go on about the history of it. Oh, Jody, uh, you know, was the first female doctor and all this stuff. And there she is. Where did it all go wrong? It's called Chibnall and the BBC. I mean, you, you could it, it's, it, Chibnall's got to go. Well, yeah, fine, but it just they'll just re replace him with another BBC yes man or woman or non-binary. Whatever. You never know what you're allowed to say anymore. So anyway, uh, the point about all this is that, see, they put every Doctor Who annual since 1964 has featured the current Doctor, so this is a big departure for them. It's surely no coincidence that it's happened just as she's on the way out. So the mayor's already decided, yeah, it's it's done, she's leaving. <laughs> uh, so, But a source told the paper, uh, the bosses are staying tight-lipped about what they have planned, but with filming still ongoing, they clearly have plans for episodes to be playing out much later into 2022. So there's still more to come from Jody's Doctor. So, uh, yeah, that might be some uh, uh, some specials or whatnot, or they'll split, you know, the, the episodes, which, I don't know, what does that give you? about four this year and then another four and perhaps a special on the tail end of that and then i guess they'll do another new year's special somewhere in there and uh but you know which one will be her regeneration you know so um the uh okay so after seeing the fans reaction to the new cover the author of the annual paul lang took to twitter to reassure fans that jody will still feature throughout the book I didn't do the cover, but I can assure you she is inside on nearly every page. Yeah, but there is something to be said that uh, there's always a picture of the doctor. And now <laughs> it just seems like, uh-oh. Uh, so the publishers at Penguin Random House told The Sun, We made the decision some time ago to experiment with a non-character-led illustration cover. Jody is, of course, featured throughout the book itself. There she is. How many more days do I have to keep playing this role? What have I done? Um, so, uh, so it comes after a rumors emerge that she's leaving the series. And I reportedly told the BBC bosses she won't be returning to the popular show. So it's like, oh boy, we got to find a new actor. Um, and then uh, Mandy Gill said, oh, they're open to a woman of color. They already have a woman of color. Her name's Joe Martin. They painted themselves in a corner with that. This idea that she represents uh, past doctors that no one knew about is ridiculous. It doesn't work at all uh, with her having a police box as a TARDIS and all that sort of stuff and saying, well, she happened before Hartnell and all. No, no, that's got to be abandoned as soon as possible because it destroys the canon of the show. It just destroys it. And um, Joe Martin should be her replacement, you know? You can probably only afford to do a handful of episodes coming forward anyway, so. <laughs> but, it, I mean, it, and it, if anything else, it's just being decent to Joe Martin. I mean, she's, because at this point, you just threw her on there. So you say, first ever black doctor. That's all you did it for. You tokenized her. And uh, that's, that's just wrong. So, uh, yeah. And I, I always thought it would be a cool thing if they did some surprise with the, with the doctor over the years that he actually meets his future self and doesn't realize it or maybe he does and no one else does and that sort of thing and then uh ta-da the so-and-so is the new doctor this mysterious character shows up you don't know who they are and then the regeneration happens and you know oh 
Oh, blah, blah. And, you know, and it puts into some, you know, time travel story, you know. Uh, and because because now with Joe Martin, then you got to play out the whole story of why she ended up high. Well, she's a fugitive. Uh, the the Jadoons chasing her, and the Time Lords are after her, and all this stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff you got to do to get that going, um, and to why her memory is lost. And it could be something along the lines of what happens to Jody's Doctor, and uh, he, despite the regeneration, the Fourteenth Doctor just has lost a lot of memory and uh which is nothing new you know they did it with the eighth doctor and all that sort of stuff but still uh that could be a means of you know, of mapping out the storyline and then you got to figure out how to get her with her husband which they just wipe out and don't even mention and she doesn't even seem to care about him <laughs> who was that guy you know the whole thing is so lazily done um so yeah somebody other than chibnall has to come in and fix that <laughs> But that's the best pay, well, uh, way going because, of, look, they, they paint themselves in the corner. I know a lot of people have just are done with female doctor idea uh, and would rather a male doctor uh, re replace Jody. But uh, just narratively speaking, where they are, I think at least, you know, Joe Martin has got to be the next doctor. That's just, you know, that's just the way it is. And uh, also, it's kind of rude for her not to be. So. Uh, it's too bad uh, the female doctor idea could have worked had they taken it seriously had they actually had ideas of what to explore here also they missed the grand opportunity of having this actually she actually is the first female doctor you know or now they've just erased all that canon wise uh, no she was always a girl <laughs> from the get -go. Uh, all the male doctors were the fake ones that kind of nonsense Whereas uh, she, they could have had Jody take the approach that Matt Smith did, where he's playing, you know, an old man in a young man's body. She would be a man in a woman's body, and and in dealing with that, not forever, you know, a couple of episodes and stuff like that. Uh, and she gets used and she comes to her own, that sort of thing. But it, you know, it it it's Jody the the caliber actors to be able to pull that off. Uh, well, we'll never know because she never got the opportunity. So. I know she's made some remarks here about how the you know the, the classic Doctor Who was misogynist and you know toxic or what have you and all that nonsense, um, but ultimately well, the failure of Doctor Who it's not really her fault. Uh, she never really got the chance to uh, be the Doctor, and I mean the approach of her just doing a bad you know rip off of David Tennant. <laughs> Oof. So, yeah, so I uh, missed the point. And uh, at this uh, uh, juncture, if you will, uh, Joe Martin uh, uh, succeeds her and then regenerates into Michael Sheen at, at the end of her tenure. <laughs> and then everything will be... <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's it's such a big mess that uh, at this point, does it really matter? I don't know. But anyway, I'm leaning towards, yeah, she is leaving the show. Uh, nothing official, but that it stands to reason. It certainly makes sense, and uh, I would advise her to get out as fast as she can. Um, and uh, this sort of thing. But you know what? They put the TARDIS on there. How much do you want to bet they really wanted to put David Tennant on there? Because <laughs> you know who sells? If anything of Doctor Who sells, it's David Tennant. And that's it. Uh, because uh, Doctor Who merchandise sales are in the toilet now uh, because the franchise has been burnt to the ground. And uh, that's unfortunate because at one point, uh, it was on top of the world. Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends? Yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t shirts hats mugs all those goodies with my artwork on them oh yeah and head over to indieplanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book night night <laughs> oh yeah you can also catch me at my podcast mr nelson joe on radio misfits Dot com, and you can also watch my videos on bitshoot.com and now on rumble.com oh my goodness so many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. 
And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson. <laughs>